And finally, with our long dreaded descent into hell, Blight Town. Uh... And for anyone wondering, do not go this way. Go the back way. I'll show you the back way in just a moment, but don't go this way. If you're going away and it looks like this, don't go there. Find out very quickly. Blight Town is very dark. It has a lot of instant death drops, and people are shooting at you in places you can't see. We have a welcoming committee coming in momentarily. I'm probably going to get knocked right off the edge here. There we go. There he is. Come on. Pull this way. It's marginally easier to fight you over here. As you notice, he does a lot of stamina damage. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, do something. Got you. Ugh. And you don't drop anything worthwhile, of course. Those things hit rather hard, and they usually don't have anything worth getting other than souls. As you notice, I've changed out the main armor piece. It's a little bit heavier, but that's what Havel's Ring is for. Yeah, roar, 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 come on. No one likes you. You live in this filthy, disgusting place with filthy, disgusting rags. But I'm going to judge you regardless. Ah. I was behind him, not fair. Your mistake. Goodbye. You can parry them relatively easily. Uh-oh. Poison bite ring on in just a moment. You can do double nope. Swing. There we go. Should have had him the first time. And of course, nothing worthwhile there. Poise. Not going to be much good if I don't get hit, so. Poison bite. Yeah, for some reason it fills your meter up and it just kind of ticks off on its own. There we go. Roar. Yeah, this is Blight Town, everyone. Come on, hurry up, get over here. People want to see what a miserable hellhole this place is. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Gotcha. This is, uh, unfortunately, the point in the game when enemies start getting to be so much you can't really backstab them and kill them. If you have a rapier, you might be able to do it because it has bonus damage on uh, crits, which is backstab and parries. And our toxic friends are going to start popping up soon. Yeah, I pulled both of them. Lovely. They do a grab, attack, that. Hey! Swing! Ugh. I'm not going to die, but I'm definitely going to take a beating here. I'm behind him. Oh, great. Yes, our friend is shooting at us from here. I didn't think he could quite peg me. Ah, oh, great, we've got another freak coming in. Yeah, he's off in that direction. Can I get hit from over here? I don't think so. Okay, I'm blocked here. So use your dead body. Hey! Die. Die. Thank you. Now, don't think you can see him quite yet. There he is. He's our toxic friend. I hate toxic friend. Fortunately, they do not respawn. But it's going to be a little difficult getting over there without aggroing everything. And of course, you don't give me the toxic ones. Fortunately, I bought plenty of those blooming mosses before I came in, knowing for a while I was going to get nailed with it sooner or later. So, let's keep going this way. Is anyone behind me? Yes. Also, Blight Town is infamous for things sneaking up on you, and I'm going to get nailed once or twice here. Grab the shield before I get my guard broken. Yeah. 
Okay, got them both. If I must, I can bulldog my way through these idiots. Now, if you've ever watched one of the Dark Souls videos, you'll notice it comes to a point where a guy's standing off the ledge looking. This is that ledge, and usually it's that guy that just manages to sneak up behind you. This is Blight Town. All the way down. We're going that way. It's gonna be a while. Blight Town is one of those miserable places you just can't see where you're going until you get there, and when you do get there, you realize you didn't actually want to go there. <laughs> One of the many things put in there just to try and get you killed. Come on, I know you saw me. There you are. Come on, disgusting freak, get over here. Haha, I'm faster. Lost soul of a lord. Eh, don't really use them, don't really care. They're useful occasionally, but not often. Now around here, there's a point, it looks like you can roll off and down. Yeah, this area, don't do that. Yeah, this is the area, if you roll down, you'll actually break the floor and you'll fall a considerable distance. It won't kill you, but you'll be in a place you really don't want to be, other than Blight Town, which is where you don't want to be anyway. Now, he came up a ladder here. Turn the shield up. It's an unfortunate part of this area that you can't quite see where you're going at all times. You can frequently get turned around and lost. Yeah, this is where the floor breaks if you drop down. You can kind of tell the boards don't look quite the same as everything around it. Kind of a minor hint that you don't want to drop. This area is also hell with mouse and keyboard. Oh, he's in a pot ready to be eaten. And something died. Oh, the dogs died! Yes, the dogs died. There we are. The dogs died. I don't have to worry about them. You could live in a better place. Let me take you there. Now you're dead. You're not in Blight Town anymore. You're better off than I am. I hate Blight Town. I hate Blight Town. I hate Blight Town. Let's see. Can I roll off here without dying? Yes. Now there's another one of those toxic little assholes somewhere around here. And that is the ninja set. Quickly go this way, see if there's anything worth getting. Nope. Now, briefly, on that ledge, there's actually another uh, place you can jump to, and it's got a katana there. So you have to be real careful in jumping to it, because there's an invisible uh, wall there, and if you hit it, you're going to die. It's just above it, probably to prevent you getting it too easily. Let's see. Proud knight. He wasn't proud. He died here. No one deserves to die here. Okay, can't go any further this way. I'm always kind of iffy on Blight Town because I never really go here often enough to learn the place. And then you start getting into real fun uh, moments where you try to remember where all the ladders are at. No, it came up that way. Um, I believe that's dr Death Drop. Actually, not that far. I still don't want to jump down there. What the? Something that got hit. Uh, can I make it this way? I think I can go this way. Nope. I've aggroed the dogs though, so they're coming after me. Where's the damn ladder? Oh. This is the. I'm probably going to have to roll off somewhere. It's probably going to be where I threw that prism stone. Oh boy. Ah, uh, I think I screwed up. Ah, uh, the dogs are down there. I think I just got myself killed. Yep, I'm dead. Ah. Uh, 
I thought I could get jump a little bit farther than that. Oh well, hold on just a second. Okay, got back up to the juncture point. Now let's see if I can find out where I went wrong. And very briefly, there's a side area over here. I think I showed it. No, I didn't. Because this guy's still alive. There we go. Die. Die. Thank you. It's an item over here. It's a soul. I believe it's a soul. I don't go here often enough to really want to remember. Or care to. It's a soul of Proud Knight. Who died like that. Not very proud anymore. But anyway, let's try to see if I can find my blood stain, which is helpful, and hopefully I won't walk off an edge. I've got a ring of sacrifice on, just in case I do. Dark Souls 2 has this neat little thing you can climb up quickly, and it's one of those things I wish was here. Now, let's see if I can figure out where I went wrong. Blight Town is really difficult to find your way around in, under the best of circumstances. And Blight Town is never a good circumstance. Yeah, that is where the katana is, and, you know, I called that in a la few minutes ago, and what do I do? Turn my back and point something out and get hit. That's where the katana is. The invisible wall is just above it, so if you jump a little high, you're probably going to miss it. Now, yeah, it's kind of me dead over there. Uh, hopefully it's a place I, I can reach. Aggroed some more friendly people. Ooh, smart. He realized I was going to jump him. Come on, up the ladder, up the ladder. I will hit you from here. Zap. Zap. I can zap you for sun, bro. Ha ha ha. Soul of a Lost Undead. I think they're random drops on these guys instead of just being always on. Now, Bloodstain was below me someplace. Yeah, don't go on those boards, you'll break them. I know you can go down from here. It's not necessarily the wisest of ideas. Okay, that better not be on a wall. I think it is. Uh, it looks like it. Oh boy, it's stuck in a wall. I'm not going to be able to get it. I'm literally going to have to suicide for it, aren't I? Uh, Blight Town, I hate you. down another floor if I can figure out how. This is Blight Down, everyone. It's dark, you can't see, you don't know where you're going, and people are shooting at you from places you can't see. Ooh, bonfire's here. Ah, oh, dogs. I can stagger you. Oh boy, your friend's here. Yeah, they do that. Pyromancers do not have a good time with this area because a lot of things are fire resistant. This is the bonfire, is it the next ledge? It's the next ledge. Something sneaky, yep. And we're getting. Ah, got nailed. Toxic is. Ow, oh, hit me again, I'm gonna die here. I'm dead. Of you asshole. Toxic is like a version of poison that's just worse in every way. Jack off. Alright, as soon as I clear it, I'm burning through all of these so fast. I don't have very many of those left. Jump 
down there and it gets me closer. There's only one breakable floor in the area and I've already bypassed it. I have no idea how I'm supposed to get there. I think my 18 humanity is gone. Where do I go down from here? Uh, wait. Poison bite ring. It's not going to help me much. I heard something metal bounce off of something. I think someone's being attacked somewhere. Oops. Light Town is filled with sudden drops. You gotta be very, very careful. I gotta figure out where that asshole is shooting those darts at me. I can hear him. Where? I think he's above me. Yeah, he's above me. Unfortunately, they have really good long range on their attacks, and it's very difficult to spot precisely where they're at. Uh, I'm going to try and get my souls back. Right now, it means a lot more to me than killing someone who won't respond. Okay, there I see him. He's up there. Ooh, you almost hit me. Camera moves and something jumps in my vision. I think it's an enemy. Uh, I don't want to fall there. Um, I'm gonna risk it. Uh, I took some damage, but I'll live. I got you anyway, haha. -ha. Okay, now where am I at? I'm in Blight Town, the worst place to be. Eehehehe, <laughs> fun. I'm gonna have a chat with someone from software. This isn't fun. And there's somebody over there. Two somebodies. Double kill. Souls, more for me. Alright, anything useful here? That's... Probably not worth it, but I'm going to get it anyway. Blooming... Ooh. Worth. So very worth. Even if this is a little nerve-wracking getting back, it's still worth getting three more of those. Ladder. The ladders unfortunately blend into the decor really easily, and it's quite simple to walk by something four or five times. Okay. Not entirely sure how I got over here, but oh well. Ooh, there's the bonfire. Yes, I must have walked under the toxic guy. Yes. Now if I die, I don't have to run all the way back from the depths. Huh. I don't know how I managed to walk by that when I was uh, coming over here. Okay, there's a the dog I killed earlier. My bloodstain is... There. No real idea how to get to it still. It's stuck in a wall. Some of those things you might have to just uh, burn a ring of sacrifice for in order to get. Okay, I jumped on there from earlier and came back across the way. Now I gotta get up in this way. doggy. Come on, doggy. Dead doggy. Pull them one at a time. Hi. Kind of sad about that cover being destroyed. Okay. Now 
he's up there. I gotta figure out how to get to him relatively quickly. Another dart. Get rid of the pots before they get over here. Okay, that little thing is blocking the darts. Not for fairly long. Swing, please. Thank you. Okay. The hitbox on the thing is a little bit bigger than I'm thinking it is. I think he's going to be in range for much longer. Something's coming my way. I'm just going to wait here for him. Maybe. I think the poison guys are given kind of limited arcs. Probably to prevent them from being incredibly obnoxious. Okay, where's he coming from? He's slowly pathfinding his way over here. I just can't see him. Okay, now that I have a better look at the blood stain, yeah, there's no way I'm ever going to get it. No point in trying. Okay, roll off here. I think I sort of know where I'm going now and how to get there, but this is going to be a lot of guesswork. Probably should have done another run on another character before I did this, but oh well. This is the Blight Town experience. I don't know where I'm going, don't know how to get there. Oh, that thing over there? Yeah, we're gonna have to deal with him in a moment. There's our buddy. Die. Thank you. More souls of a proud knight who died in this place. No one who died here is proud. Now, let's see if I remember. Yeah, there's a ladder there. Hi. Dead. Oh. I think I grabbed it before he fell. Oh well. Anyway, he's gone, and I don't care. Let's see, can I fall from here? Don't think it's a wise idea. It's... Fortunately, we're past the halfway mark in Blight Town, so... It gets relatively simpler once you get away from all this scaffolding. I ah, took a hit there. Broken straight sword. I wanted just one of those. Make sure I'm not going to get jumped. The eagle shield is down here. It's the first heavy shield with heavy deflection and cannot parry shield. It only has 95% damage reduction on physical, though, so it's otherwise a good shield. <laughs> March back up this way. Yeah, you can probably see him a little bit. I don't know how well this is going to be encoded, but that's the Parasite up there. He's guarding some Pyromancy. He's easy to take out if you get him from behind. If not, he's pretty much going to one-shot you. Now, I believe it's up and around for this particular section. Problem is finding the up and around. Yeah, this is just off to a drop. Or braver. I try and jump it, but I'm not. Trash. There's a ladder that's stuck in a hidden, not a hidden spot, but it's out of the way. And that's basically where you go to get at this particular section. The problem is finding it. There it is. 
Are you going to come up, or am I going to have to come down? Well, I'm coming down. I'm out of stamina. Okay, where did I pick up that? Nameless soldier. Yeah, you were nameless for dying here. Here we are. I believe this goes up to the other poison guy who got me a whole bunch of times earlier. Now I'm going to have fun tearing him apart. He's probably going to pop me once when I uh, go off, get off the ladder. No. Unless he fell. I don't think he fell. Okay, I've aggroed one of the giants. I think I know which one it is, but he's a fair distance away from me. Ooh, he fell. Ah, the wonderful, wonderful feeling of watching them fall and die. Pathing on them is never the greatest, which is why I so enjoy it here. Die. Did you drop anything? No. You're going to be that person, aren't you? Okay, here we go. Now this leads us to the behind the parasite. Lock on. Zap. Now the damage indicator is coming up in front of him. You are hurting him. It just doesn't look like it. Yep, got him. So it, look, it can look like he's bugged, but he's not. Pyromancy, power within. I believe that uh, damages you, but increases your attack. So, kind of us useful-ish. And this goes up... here. This is from earlier, I think. Is it? Yeah. Okay, I'm not sure where this is from, but I'm pretty sure I walked by it earlier. And it can also demonstrate how easy it is to not notice these ladders, because they just don't look like ladders. Okay. Very careful for the instant death drops. Way down from here, if I can remember it. We're getting close to the bottom, but not quite there yet. Ugh. This section of Blight Town is irritating. Fortunately, it's almost over. Oh, there it is. I knew it was around here somewhere. I just forgot for a moment this continued. Our giant friend should be around here. Quit ragdolling, please. Okay. And this is the giant was the one who suicided earlier. Yep, there's supposed to be a giant there. He suicided. He was the one who died. Okay, another drop-off point. <laughs> very, very carefully. You do not want to die when you get this far. It's just a regular fog gate, not a boss yet. The boss actually isn't in Blight Town, it's in uh, Quilag's Domain. It looks very different from Blight Town. It's nowhere near as bad. There's a ladder there. We are almost at the bottom. Mosquitoes are going to start popping up at this point. What's in here, if I remember correctly? It's not much of anything. See, I don't think you need to go down here. This is kind of... Yeah, this is almost where the bonfire is at. But there's nothing really over here. There's